right, as well. So now we have a bunch of rulers all over the place, which is going to help us line some stuff up. Because that's important when you're making important things, you know. Make sure that's in the right place. Hold down shift to grab um, to grab rulers, by the way. If you can't grab them, once you put them down, you got to hold down shift so they turn red. Um, now we can get rid of that white box layer and then select none. Uh, all right, so now we're looking swanky. Um, we're going to grab this. We're going to grab this um, battery icon by holding down shift. Make sure that's on. Uh, move the active layer. Right. Hold down shift. You can uh, move that like that. All right. Um, perfect. So now I want to go ahead and add in the date and the time. So we'll go ahead and actually just the time. We'll grab a text tool object, drag this open, and we'll change this font. Um, maybe something like this. What time do I want it to be? Um, nine. 927 927 nope nope that's not a time am yeah um sure and then maybe not that font cuz that's no not for this um i'm going to find a font and it's going to be a good one and it's going to oh i don't have any fonts good for this right now i need a simple ooh avant garde ooh that might be good uh no no, no, I need better font for this. You know, I'll just go with something out of the ordinary. We'll go with this. That looks pretty good. Why not? Who cares? All right. Um, and then I'm going to change the size of the AM down because it's too big for the rest of the stuff. So I'm going to change this to 35. Yeah. Um, and then move it over. Now, this isn't going to line up perfectly with the bottom of this. So I'm going to grab a ruler once again, put it right there, then move that up to so it, so it rests on the edge of that, which is nice. I want to flip these, though. So I'm going to move this battery over. And then move the time over with it. Hold down shift. Make sure it's not outside of that boundary. Um, do I like it better that way or the other way? Uh, I like it better the other way. Like, like, like thusly. Like thusly. There we go. Get a little bit of space in between those as well. So that was good. I like it. We can also go to uh, view show uh, rulers and turn those up. No, no, not rulers. What am I thinking? It's not. It's guides, not rulers. Uh, show guides to get rid of those just for a second so we can see what it looks like. All right, looking good. That might be a little small, but that's fine. Uh, all right, so view. Um, uh, uh, so guides, there we go. No, not great. What's wrong with me today? Show guides, there we go. All right, getting into the nitty gritties, okay? I want to make some buttons. Uh, and you can do as many of these as you want to. Pretty much, we're already done, by the way. I mean, you don't really have to have anything else. You have a big clock, so let's do a clock in the middle. Um, all right, so the center of this canvas is uh, going to be in the middle of this box here. So this is a little cheat way to do it if you don't want to do the math right now, which I don't because I'm in the middle of a tutorial. You can drag a box open from both of the sides and make sure it connects. Add a new layer. And then uh, uh, fill... No, I didn't hit enter, did I? Oh, well, whatever. Do the box again. <laughs> make sure it snaps to the to the guides. Hit enter. There we go. I turn. That's why I can't see it because we're too far... Hmm. Wait a second now. What's going on? I just can't see the the marching ants. I can't see the dancing ants. There we go. All right, whatever. Select none. Uh, layer. Crop the content. Now, the middle of this box is the middle of the canvas. So you see the little plus right there? That's the middle of the canvas. And that looks like it's on this little thing right there. So it's not going to be perfectly in the center because the, they don't show up in the perfect center. But that's the perfect center right there. So we can get rid of that box now. Don't need it anymore. Genius, aren't I? I know. I, I, I oof, uh, so, so smart. Uh, we're going to use another text object, make a big little clock in the center, and we're going to also, actually, no, we don't, wait, that's silly of me. Yeah, we don't even need this 928. What am I doing? Uh, whatever. Uh, we'll just move that over. I don't even need that. What am I thinking? I don't know what's wrong with me today. Anyway, drag a big box open, 928 uh, AM, baby, baby, and I changed the time, but that's okay, because I can do whatever I want. It's my phone. Um, <laughs> and I want to change this this font here. So I think that looks cool. Maybe six hundred for the pixel size. Uh, One thousand two hundred. That's way too big. Nine hundred. That's fine. I guess we'll do that. Fine. Okay. Cool. So we'll move that about right there. This is like a phone, right? Yeah. Sweet. 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 Hey guys, it's Sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and uh, right click this, duplicate it. And then change this to say, uh, there's, I mean, this isn't going to be a real date. This is going to be, say, Thursday. Oh, I skip a letter, by the way, because if I don't skip a letter and I just start typing, it's going to type really small. So always skip a letter. Skip a letter, skip the number nine, and then we'll just type after it. Uh, so Thurs, no, Thurs, not Thrust. 
Thursday. Uh, we'll just do Thurs. I don't even know if this is really a Thursday. 15th, and then we'll do 2029 because I live in the future, guys. That's how, that's how smart I am. I'm in the future. I'm going to change that to 200 pixel size, and then we'll just move that un underneath that like that. Sweet, sweet. And I'm going to also double click this to select all of the t all of the text. Um, and this, I don't want this to be Thursday. I want this to be Wednesday. Wedness. Uh, no, let's do Friday. Let's do Friday because that looks better. All right, so we'll do Friday, and then I'm gonna double click. No, double click all of these, and then hit this little button to, to make it italic because that looks better. Um, there we go. And actually, it doesn't look better. I liked it better before it was slanty. All right, there we go. Never mind. <laughs> I move it down like that. It looks nice. I now now I want to make some buttons. All right, this this tutorial is probably gonna be two parts, but that's okay because we haven't had a two parter in a while. So, um, I want to go ahead and uh hit a new layer this new layer is going to be above everything else because it doesn't really matter if it is or not um and i'm going to make some buttons so this button right here i'm going to hold down uh shift to make sure it doesn't you know it scale improperly so now it's fixed and i'm going to maybe make it look down at the bottom uh the bottom left you can see the size is changing i think i'm going to make it an even an even 350 maybe an even 350 yeah, something like that. Hit enter. Um, select it, then hit enter. There we go. And then uh, go ahead and just use a white color for now. We'll just fill that in. There we go. Select none. And then grab the, the, the rectangle tool once again. Um, and now you see the corners are still kind of rounded from when we did it before because I didn't undo it, which is my mistake. But it's fine because we're going to fix that in a second. Uh, now we're going to round these corners even more. So rounded corner, we're going to maybe do 20. Uh, way more than 20. We'll do 50. Way more than 50. We'll go all the way. We'll do 100. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. Hit enter. There we go. Uh, select, invert, delete. Delete Tionos. Why didn't that? Oh, that's because I'm still on radius over here. I'm silly Billy. All right. Uh, enter, invert, delete. That's going to mess us up still because I'm over here. There we go. Select, enter, invert, delete. That should. There we go. All right. So now we have. We should have all that working. Why can't I see the ants? That's weird. Why is it not work? show selection? There we go. All right, now I can see the selection. Let's do that one more time. That was weird. Why? I didn't turn that off, did I? Did I turn that off by accident? I don't know. I'll have to watch back the video. I'll be like, I can't believe I turned that off. Anyway, enter, uh, select, inverse, delete. Now I can see. There we go. Select, none, layer, crop the content. We're moving fast, boys and girls. Um, all right. Now we got this little button, which is nice. I likes. I likes. And then we'll go ahead, uh, use the move tool. Hit layer, crop to content. We've already done that. What am I doing? I just, I literally just did that. All right. Um, what was I doing now? All right. That's what I want to do. I want to move these on specific lines. So I guess we'll go by uh, 500s. So actually, that's not enough. We'll go by every 200 starting on 300. Or you know what I'll do is I have this hotkey set to Z. Um, this is just new guide by percent. So what it is, is if I go up to edit, go to preference, no, not preference, keyboard shortcuts. No, 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 no. Close, 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 close. If I go to edit keyboard shortcuts and then type in new guide, I have a lot of, I have a lot of different hotkeys I've set up. Um, I'll go through that video in a little bit. I'll make a hotkeys video for again, cause I have so many, um, but new guide by percent, you can just hit that and then select a new shortcut and just put it as Z it's default by zoom, but I took it off cause I don't use zoom, um, for that. Uh, sorry, so Z, and then we'll go new guide by percent, we'll do vertical, and we can also get rid of the one over here too, uh, we can get rid of both of those and do it like this, so vertical, 50, and then, uh, horizontal, and then do the same thing, so now we have all these guides, which is nice, so I can go ahead and add more too, so if I hit Z, and then, uh, position in horizontal, we can change this to maybe, um, 25, and then hit one for that, now there's one up there, and then we can do vertical, 25, and then we do this as many times as we want to, um, I could, I think we do negative numbers too. Just help me get them down here. Uh, I don't think that worked. <laughs> oh wait, we got to do other, we got to do other numbers. It's other numbers, isn't it? Yeah. It only goes to that. So 25, uh, that's kind of weird, but let's do, this is percent. So, uh, we'll do instead of, if we do 75, that's what we have to do. Yeah. 75 It's by for percent, not by pixel. So, um, same thing, horizontal.